July 2068, Moffett Field, San Francisco Bay Area. It took me five years to rebuild the vintage katana. I sat in a time-worn leather seat and threw the red master switch. The cockpit came alive with the hum of whirling gyroscopes as the instruments came online. A key rested in the ignition and I turned it clockwise two clicks. The engine coughed several times, sputtered and rumbled to a steady idle. Air washed into the cockpit, carrying with it the smell of hot tarmac and engine oil. I reached up and closed the canopy, put on a classic green DC headset, and fixed the microphone to my chin. I taxied to Moffat's runway, got clearance from ATC, and took to the sky. The airstrip disappeared below me, replaced by the murky shoreline slough. The Rotax 912 engine tugged at the air, pulling the katana higher into the California sky. I flew over San Jose's rusted desalination plants and continued north toward San Francisco. On my right, windmills on the East Bay skyline carved the atmosphere with 300-foot blades. Sailboats with colorful spinnakers littered the bay, but the skies over San Francisco were empty. It was just me and the seagulls this morning. I flew over Bernal Heights, where my wife and I were about to move. Marie had dreamed of renting one of the Victorian flats that peppered San Francisco's historic neighborhoods. We had made that dream a reality, signing the lease the previous Friday. Passing the Golden Gate Bridge, I banked right, heading toward wine country. I checked my watch. Forty minutes until I have to land. The southern tip of Napa Valley had airspace dedicated to aerobatics. Would the controllers let me use it? The katana was agile but by no means a stunt plane. I decided to give it a try. Sonoma Tower, this is Katana 279er Foxtrot, requesting permission to enter practice area Charlie. Over. Copy, Katana 279er. Charlie is empty. You are clear for aerobatic flight up to 6,000 feet. Roger that, Tower. 6,000 feet. Katana 279er out. I grinned. With the throttle punched in, I cranked the stick to the left, rolling into a steep left bank that pressed the airframe to its structural limits. Adrenaline pulsed through me. Or was that just the G-load? It was probably both. I dove, gaining speed as altitude dwindled. A hundred feet from the swamps of Skaggs Island, I pulled up, shooting back into the sky. As the aircraft bled off speed, I kicked the rudder to the right, throwing the katana into a hammerhead. I'd never be able to do this again. Better make it count. I exited the hammerhead into another dive, and then leveled out, thinking of Marie. On that note, I kept my distance from the ground. Marie would kill me if I died, I thought. After a few more wingovers and attempted loops, most of which ended in stalls, I'd had all my stomach could take. I radioed Sonoma Sky Park and requested permission to land. After a single circuit around the airport, I set the aircraft down and taxied toward the hangars. A man in his mid-fifties waited on the tarmac and waved as I taxied by. He was getting a fully rebuilt katana, a plane he'd surely enjoy for years to come. The katana came to a stop. I pulled back on the mixture control, switched off the master, and pulled out the key. I unclipped the four-point harness and flipped up the canopy, tossing my headset onto the co-pilot seat. We shook hands and I handed over the oil-stained registration. I never thought I'd sell my aircraft, but two weeks earlier we had discovered Marie was pregnant. We did some math, drawing up a budget. Rent in San Francisco and a child we could afford, but hangar fees and aircraft maintenance would put us in the red. The katana had to go. That night, Marie and I stood on the deck of our apartment and took turns looking through a telescope she had given me for Christmas. As a boy, I had been fascinated with space, leading me to my dream job as a NASA engineer. But since I'd probably never have the chance to visit Mars or even the lunar colony, I got my pilot's license. It wasn't the same, but flying had provided me an authentic joy. Marie looked into my eyes, took my hand, and squeezed it. 
We had prepared ourselves for a new set of adventures, and we were eager to experience them together.